Hi, this is Medicosis Perfectionalis. Let's talk about contact dermatitis. So, itis means inflammation, derm means skin. So, it's a skin inflammation due to contact with a substance. It has two types. The first one is called irritant contact dermatitis. The second one is called allergic contact dermatitis. And by the way, contact dermatitis sometimes is called contact eczema and therefore irritant contact dermatitis can be known as irritant um, eczema or allergic eczema. So the same thing. In irritant contact dermatitis, the irritant can be either chemical or physical. Chemicals such as soapy water, such as rubbing alcohol, household cleaners, solvents, fertilizers, pesticides, shampoos, bleach, detergent, etc. Physical, such as plants. Plants sometimes can be a physical irritant. Also, humidity can lead to physical contact dermatitis or physical subtype of irritant contact dermatitis. Okay, irritant contact dermatitis, the substance is irritating to everybody. Okay, and no sensitization is required. You don't have to be sensitized, so you don't have to be exposed to this substance before. Like, a pesticide is irritant to everybody, and it's it takes just one time. The first time you get pesticides on your skin, you'll have dermatitis. So that's irritant, which is the most common occurs in 80% of the patients with, with contact dermatitis. On the other hand, allergic doesn't occur to everybody. It occur to people who are allergic, who have allergy to this substance. And it requires sensitization or previous exposure it's a delay type or type 4 hypersensitivity reaction. So the patient has to be exposed, then sensitized, and on the second exposure, the problem will happen. Okay, and of this allergic substance, nickel, in the buckle, or in some certain cosmetic, pardon me, in some certain jewelry. So, what's interesting in this contact dermatitis is that it will leave a pattern on the skin. So, after she removes the watch, you will have the, derma the rash will take the pattern or the shape of the watch. This is very amazing. So, if she was allergic to these this tattoo it will have a rash that takes the shape of this tattoo isn't this interesting so cosmetics can lead to contact dermatitis also some drugs can lead to contact dermatitis how to treat it first we have to identify the offending agent and remove it that's the first line how to treat the symptoms cool compresses, use topical steroids, and you can use aluminum acetate dissolved in water. What if the condition is so severe? Then you can use systemic steroids. Okay, by the way, there is a test to diagnose contact dermatitis called the patch test. Basically, the physician will apply different patches to the back of the patient and I'll see you next time and then 
he will see which one of these agents led to the allergic reaction and this is the substance that the patient is allergic to to identify the cause of the allergic contact dermatitis but for treatment first identify the agent if it's mild use topical steroid if it's severe you can use systemic steroids be aware that delayed type hypersensitivity reaction occur between 24 to 72 hours after exposure that's why it's delayed that's contact dermatitis in brief see you next video please subscribe to our channel there are new videos coming every single week and see you next time take care stay safe